Testing, testing, testing. Okay, so this is a detailed analysis of TwitchCon 2022 in San Diego. On day one, <clears throat> we got an Uber and chatted with the Uber driver about attending TwitchCon the new general area of TwitchCon, but did not know the event or what was happening at the event. We arrived at the convention on day one at approximately 10.15 to 10.20 a.m. on a Thursday. No, it was the day before. It was Thursday. Thursday, and we were there to search for the COVID uh, requirements, and we looked around for a bit, asked around, and we bumped into this woman who had the uh, the vaccine uh, wristbands, and she said, show me your ID and show me the vaccine card, and having the two vaccines only worked for that time, so it was successful. And we got our wristband, and the queue, the queue for TwitchCon seemed uh, a bit excessive for what was there. Like, the assumption, observation was it was going to be for way more people than actually attended. And, it, and its design seemed very senior citizen, like, not friendly at all. Very hard. That was observation two, and we made our way into the con, and I was actively searching for uh, the Twitch streamer that I was there for on day one, Dino Dare and Anubis. I searched the hall for approximately 42 minutes, and I did not find them. Decided to check their Twitter, their Twitter did not have any indication of where they were at the con. Local landmark knowledge would probably be required for such activities, although I did not have any at the time. I searched for approximately 42 minutes, did not find anyone. I memorized certain route to Artist Alley and to the area around it. I searched up and down the halls. There was a lot of people there. It was hard to find anyone, let alone a specific YouTuber that I had no idea where they were in hindsight. But overall, I did not find the person and that concludes Thursday and day one. We went back to the hotel and skimmed the Twitter of Dino Dare, did not find anything. So we resigned for that day and came back on Friday. On Friday, I was looking for Hachubby as well. I could not find Hachubby. In hindsight, I, I did not realize you had to heavily rely on uh, mobile phone use. Like I have yet, I'm, I'm, I you have all my information on my rig. That's that's social media related, and I wasn't signed in on my phone or any of that. It was very. Poorly, I didn't, it, it was out of my line of thinking at the time. I was not thinking about it. And so I was searching the halls for Hot Chubby, did not find her. The, well, the, uh, let me put the summary for Friday. The summary for Friday was I did not find Dino Dare, I did not find Anubis, it ended in failure, I did not get my badge signed. That was the detailed summary of Thursday and Friday. So, on Saturday, no, on Friday night, I was at the hotel, and I decided to look up Hot Chubby's stream, and she was in this 
esports area I was unfamiliar with. I had no idea where that was at the con. And I believe I... Uh, and also, that is why I was unable to find her, because she was stationary in this this area I was unable to find. And then, on Saturday, got up at around 8 in the morning, got ready, and then went down to the... To the to the hotel uh coffee shop got a cold brew coffee it was eight dollars eight dollars is quite expensive for a coffee like the cold brew i get in my hometown is like five or six bucks for a gallon's worth doesn't make sense and so i get the cold brew and i also get the the cinnamon roll the cinnamon roll was uh, like the $2 kind you find at a grocery store that's mass produced. Uh, there was nothing very spe special about it. It did not need to cost six bucks, $2 cinnamon roll. I, I don't know why things are so expensive in San Diego. It, it, that one left me completely baffled. But anyway, I drink my coffee, eat the cinnamon roll, and then decide to call an Uber. Uber shows up, I ask them about the con. They do not know anything about the con. But, but they do have general area location, which was interesting. And then we go to the con. I search for a hot chubby on Saturday. Because after day one, Dino, Darren, and Anubis had left, and I had no idea where they were, and I, I gave up the chase on that specific day. And then on Saturday, I went to search for Hot Chubby. And I, I saw her stream. She was at, like, this park area with a huge arch. I assumed it was located in the convention center somewhere, but I was completely unsure. I asked a security guard at Exhibition Site D Exit. I said, do you know where this is? Can you help me? And he says, maybe the information kiosk can help you with this. And so I go over to the information kiosk. I show them the stream. And they're like, that might be ex Exhibit B. And I was like, do you know where that is? And she just pointed me to the general direction, which was overall unhelpful. I did not understand that. So I went to Exhibition B area, which was the artist alley. I patrolled through the area that I memorized on how to get there. It was, it was one specific route. And then I went outside and I observed a cabana area that had like VIP access. It was called something cabana. I assumed it was a VIP restricted area and I could not go down there. So I called off the search in that area and then I went back around the other side i went up the huge stairs and at the top of the huge stairs there's nothing up there it's kind of like an observation area there's no park up there and then i went back to the information kiosk again to search for her chubby stream and they were like i'm sorry i don't know where this is back to not knowing anything about the the convention then i went to artist alley exit B site and I asked the security guard if he knew where this park area was he said he didn't know so I don't know and then I saw a staff member I asked them can you take me to this location do you know where this person is and I said I'd give him 20 bucks if he can escort me there he said he couldn't move he insisted and apologized so that ended in failure. Then I, I went back outside the convention to search for a bit. And I tripped and fucked up my shin and decided my, my energy levels and my patience was at its limit. Like I was on the verge of punching somebody. I was super pissed off. So I decided to call off the search and go back to the hotel. And so I just stewed for a bit, unable to find Hachabi. And then I, I looked at her stream, and she was in the convention. But by that time, 
going through the the main entrance through all the queues was like a, a major pain in the ass. I did not want to do that. I did not have the energy for that, and in turn, I I gave up the search for Hot Chubby at that point. I was out of energy. My mental focus was gone. And so I called it quits and returned to the hotel and and had some seltzer water at the bar with some oranges in it. That was really good. That was delicious. It quenched my thirst. It was overall delicious. And then I got the Asian club salad. And no, what was it? It was like an Asian salad with tomatoes. It was really good, really delicious. And then I went back to my room and I was unable to find Hachabi. I was unable to find Dino Dare or Anubis. I was unable to get my badge signed, and that was that. I did get the Twitch hoodie I was after, and they had some in stop, stock, thank God. But the end summary for TwitchCon was that Twitch seems to have mastered the ability to be as messy and uncoordinated as possible. To a point where you didn't think it was physically possible, but it was. But I was working with minimal information, minimal resources to find where these people were. So overall, I couldn't do much with what I had. I just had to take estimated guesses to figure out where they were, and I was unable to. So the, the stream summary and the summary of TwitchCon was... The TwitchCon event itself was like 3 out of 10, very disorganized, the people working there did not know the event center, it was, they didn't, they, they lived in San Diego but had no idea about the event, the chances of it being a stonewall, a proactive stonewalling attempt is like 10% probably. The 90% summary is that they, they actually had no idea about the, the convention. They had no clue about what was going on at the time. But overall, it was torturous. It was not a very fun experience. Because I, I had to make estimated guesses all the way, and it was just, it was overall very frustrating and time consuming and all that. So, I was not expecting it to be like that. I was expecting to easily find them, easily find the people, but they were small streamers. I was unable to. And that concludes this video on the short summary and observations of TwitchCon. That is all. See you.